What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the Relax Sports Company. Uh, Relax is a newer company that is doing things a lot different in, in lacrosse manufacturing, uh, which I really appreciate, always appreciate. They are um, eco-friendly manufacturing, um, you know, working with zero waste manufacturers, they're using recycled materials in their, in their products, um, they're donating you know, one for one, they buy ahead, they give ahead, just really good things that will help grow the sport of lacrosse. And really that's what we all want. So I'm into it. I'm excited by it. Let's go. Excellent. All right, so Relax. Relax was founded by uh, Adam Gittleman is a co-founder. I can't remember the other guy's name. If you go to their website, read their mission statement, read about what they're doing, it's super impressive. Um, their goal is to support the uh, economic and environmental sustainability in the sport of lacrosse. Um, that's huge. Like, you know, you don't really think about the waste products, uh, byproducts in manufacturing, but it's a big deal. Um, my work, my wife works for a large food manufacturer, and you know, wastewater and things like that are. It's a it's a very big deal. Um, you know, the environment is it's in crisis, right? I mean, it, it really kind of is. It's fixable, maybe. I don't know. I'm an optimist. Um, but companies have to at least try. And uh, Relax is trying. You know, I don't know what is in this head, right? How it's recycled materials, if it's 100% recycled materials or whatever it is. Uh, they are doing something to help, you know, ease some of the burden on the environment through lacrosse manufacturing. And that's cool. Um, it is light. I think I weighed it in at just under four ounces. So this is a light head. So they're using recycled materials, uh, working with zero waste manufacturers and using 100% uh, eco-friendly materials, which, I mean, that's awesome. Um, but beyond that, every head you buy, they're donating one, which is, I love that. But these are $69.99. So, you know, ease of entry, it's a little less burdensome, right? You don't have to spend quite so much money to get yourself ahead and then get one donated. Um, programs that are in need can also say a program is just starting out and they need gear. I think if you buy 50 heads, you can then nominate yourself to get the donation. So your program would then end up with 100 heads for the price of 50, which that's awesome. You know, and it's no secret how I feel, I mean, if you follow my channel, you've watched any of my videos, uh, I talk a lot about, and over the years I've talked a lot about, um, you know, growing the game, it's really just kind of uh, an empty platitude, it's lip service, it's a hackneyed expression that doesn't really mean anything unless people are throwing themselves at it. Um, you know, offering a clinic for $60 instead of 100 does that grow the game? Nah, that doesn't. That just gives people uh, a cheaper avenue to go to a practice that they probably would have anyway. And the tr way to truly grow the game is to get it into the hands of people who wouldn't normally have access to it. And that is something that Relax is, is trying to do, and I love that. You know, if you think about uh, other sports and the popularity of other sports, soccer, for instance, you know, it's the most popular game in the world. Uh, I personally am not a fan. I do love Ted Lasso, though. I just spit. But but soccer, you know, 22 players on the field, you need one ball, right? That's it. You need one ball for 22 players, $15 ball. You know, it doesn't have to be a great ball. You can buy them cheap. That's like, I don't know, that's like 70 cents a player to play a game. Uh, baseball, you know, you, you really just need a bat and a ball. Gloves are nice to have, but you don't really need them. You know, we've all seen kids playing baseball without gloves. Uh, a bat, you know, 20 bucks. A ball four bucks, um, 18 players, you're talking about like a dollar thirty a player. Okay, lacrosse, at the bare minimum, you need a, need a head that's strong and a handle. Okay, so let's say we get the cheapest used head, or I'm sorry, cheapest used stick we can find from our neighbor, uh, from played against sports, whatever, say 40 bucks. That's really low. That's really cheap. Now we need 20 people with those. So you're talking about $800. That's $800 to get a fully 
uh, full-sided game um, with no pads, right? That's just sticks to play a pickup game with no pads. The barrier of entry to the sport of lacrosse is, is it's insurmountable in certain parts of the world, certain parts of the country. It's just not going to happen. So the more companies can do to facilitate the growth of the game, really facilitate the growth of the game, not just talk about it, uh, but really make it happen. So yeah, it's a, it's a tough game to get into. Uh, it's a tough game to spread just because of those things. Basketball, you know, basketball, it's one ball. You don't need a lot of money to play basketball. Uh, or, you know, I'm just talking about to get it out to the people. Obviously, to join teams and stuff, you need a little more money. You need some shoes, you need some cleats, you need shin guards and different things. Uh, but for to pick up and play the game and for fun on a weekend, lacrosse is tough. So this kind of thing, I really, really appreciate. Their, their donation model, um, you know, the, the, the approach they're taking to grow the game, fantastic. So at the end of the day, you know, if you're giving free clinics, that's a way to grow the game, you know, really trying to, you know, bring in gear so kids can just come and play for free, try it out, that'll work. But, you know, that's an investment. A lot of people, that's hard to do. It's hard to just give time away and money away, uh, even though we all should be doing that. In, in some capacity with some things. I'm not saying in lacrosse necessarily, but something. Um, it's good for the soul. The growth of the game is stunted. You know, the PLL, uh, as much as we all love it, it's fantastic. It's such a great product, and it's probably grown the game a little bit. It's not something that non-lacrosse players, I don't think, are really seeking out. Uh, and if they scroll by it and they see a game, they may watch a little while. I'm not sure it's truly getting kids out there. Um, and I wouldn't expect it to. I love the, I love it, but you know, growth is going to have to come from grassroots. Um, you know, financial decisions on the parts of company, they're, that sting. It's, you know, it, it's going to take away from the bottom line. You know, they're basically cutting their profits in half by selling one, giving one. And that's, that's awesome. You know, that's a decision they made early on in modeling their company, and I, I love that. All right, so let's get on to this, this head. Uh, I don't know what it's made of. You know, I'm guessing some kind of nylon polymer, but, you know, recycled materials, that's awesome, right? And they've, they've done something special here because it's, I don't know if it's 100% recycled, um, but whatever they did, it's a, it's a nice looking head. I didn't think I'd like the scoop just from looking at it, but you know, I'm not any kind of expert, uh, but I'd love it. You know, I, I've had this one out of practice for a week. I uh, took it to a tournament this weekend. Granted, I'm not playing with it. You know, I'm just coaching, but still, I know what I like and I definitely like this scoop and I didn't think I would. Uh, the rest of the head is very cool. Like those sidewalls, the sidewall struts are really Cool, like there's a lot going on. Um, this, I don't, I don't, I do have another head. This sidewall seems high to me here, which I like, you know, if it's legal, it's, uh, it's awesome. You know, it's not legal. I've never seen a ref measure the sidewall. This is a uh, Warrior Evo QXD. And it's, I mean, this is a good quarter inch taller on the sides right here. Um, that's good for ball retention, like really good. You know, a ref is looking here to see if they see daylight under the bottom rail between the ball. And, uh, but if you're sitting, if you've got this much sidewall, the ball sitting there illegal, I mean, that's, that's going to add for some really nice hold. Um, this is their factory strung. It's really well strung. It's not the way I would string it. I say that all the time, but you know, I'm a, I'm just an average stringer, mediocre at best. And, uh, I really like this pocket. When I first got it, I thought, okay, that's going to have a lot of hang, right? But it, it doesn't. It throws beautifully. Um, I can't shoot anymore. <laughs> when I try to shoot, my shoulder wants to just dislocate, which is super sad. I used to just you know, water breaks and stuff, I'd shoot. It was fun. I never shot well, but it was fun. I liked shooting, and so I missed that. I had my kids shoot with it. Um, 
but he's got a broken wrist that he suffered in the first game of our fall season, um, which is a huge bummer. May need surgery. Scaphoid bone, commonly broken bone, hard to heal, not a lot of blood flow. Anyway, so he shot with the, the cast. He liked the release, um, but he couldn't really tell either because he's wearing a cast on his hand. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I love it. I love it. I uh, Stringing, it's got 17 holes. It's going to be easy to string. I have not strung this one. This is my, my, my God, it's so light. A nice looking face shape. It's definitely got the high walls. You guys remember the high wall? Probably don't. It's all right. Uh, but interesting configuration on the struts. Feels like it's going to be strong enough. Maybe even a face off head. I don't know. Short throat, two screws, pretty close together, those screws. That's interesting. I didn't actually, I put this on a uh, Evo QX handle. I didn't, I didn't screw it in just because I wasn't sure I had it all the way seated and I was in a big hurry. So I just taped it on. Um, but I think I will screw it into this handle. I like this setup. Kind of a unique upper here. Uh, the shape is, is kind of different on these little flat spots. We've seen it before. Certain heads, uh, there was an epic head, I think, that had kind of a similar shape. But it's cool. You know, feels, it's, it's stiff enough for youth players at any position. High school and up, I'd say it's an offensive head. Cool little logo design with there. It's a lacrosse head with the arrows, the recycle arrows going around. It's neat looking. Like this QX is not super light, uh, but when I brought it out to practice, people are like, whoa, this whole thing. I mean, because the head is so light, the whole stick feels light. I want to put it on a really light shaft and see how that feels, but it's it's a great looking head. This is the the unstrung comes. I believe it comes in black and white, and is sixty nine ninety nine. The strung version, which is strung really well, I am a definite fan of this string job. Right out of, right out of the gate, it, it felt good, good hold, uh, snappy release. Big fan. So anyway, the strung version is. I believe it's $89.99. The Riptide mesh feels great. It's really light mesh, similar to uh, Otter mesh, but a little thicker. Uh, it's $19.99. Seems like a really good piece of mesh to me. Uh, I'm excited to string it up in this performance mesh. It's a, a poly mesh. So it's gonna be good in weather. Um, you know, That's about all I know. You'd have to try it out. This thing with mesh, you know, you feel it. It's one thing. You get it strung up. You see how it bags. You see how it reacts to different things. All right, so I, I think that's it. Uh, Relax Sports Company. I probably didn't do, uh, you know, their mission justice with my garbage words. <laughs> Relax good. Do good for world. Make lacrosse big. Um, sorry. <laughs> But yeah, if go read about it, read read what they have to say, uh, watch the videos. You're going to you're going to feel like, "Oh yeah, I want to throw some money their way. I want to I want to help grow the sport in this way." And the product's great. I mean, you know, obviously you have to take everything I say about lacrosse products with a grain of salt because I'm not out there in the trenches bashing people, you know, digging ground balls in crowds like they don't get a lot of use with me. I mean, real use, uh, the use that they're intended for, you know, like coaches rolling out ground balls, um, you know, a stick will last 50 years, right? We're not doing a whole lot with them, especially once you stop being able to shoot, you're just out there, you know, you catch one from someone, ball hunt, you throw them in, you know, you're not doing a lot with it. So you can't really take my word for its durability uh, how effective it will be at any given position, but I've been around a lot of gear and I do like this head a lot uh, And I love what they're doing as a company. All right guys relax sports company uh, check the website um, Check them on Instagram good stuff uh, I really appreciate what you're doing guys. It's uh, It's what the game needs, you know, it's what the world needs All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video